medical research article block and the explanation is in the name basically we are basically learning about research articles that mostly pertain to medicine and are about medicine and like and like the discoveries that they've done over the years for example we can take this COVID-19 pandemic and in 10 years time 15 years time or whatever there will be research articles about it looking back on what methods worked now what methods didn't work then or whatever and how they developed it the same case with hiv the way they treated hiv back then is totally different to the way they treat um hiv now so when you look at what is called as a doctor basically that's what he was telling us as a doctor it is your responsibility even if you are outside of medical school to keep on keep track of the medical research that they're doing so that you can bet better your practice so with that being said today we learned how to determine if whether a certain article is a good article and if whether a certain author is a good author and for next week our assignment is that we are divided into groups and they're going to send us an uh, article that we need to critique and determine if whether this is a good article or what and if this is a good author or not. And then we have a presentation of it next week, Wednesday. I'm so tired. Group work is so much. Everything is group work these days. Like, Well, it, it both has its cons and its pros. But yeah, anyway, now I have to... What time is it? It is currently one o'clock. I've been, we've had a three hour class with only one break and the break was like 10 minutes. Fun. So I'm going to take a break now. Shower because I haven't showered. I'm going to take a break now, eat something, shower, and then I'm going to come back and I have to finish my group assignment my part of the group assignment for last week's blog which was bioethics and then i need, need to send it to the person who's going to be compiling everything because it's due tomorrow before midnight so yeah that's my plan for Hi today everyone. so i am not sure where my previous video ended but i got cut off because i didn't have storage however i've spent like the last two hours or so after i attended lecture to clear out my storage and move all my past videos into my laptop so i create storage hopefully it'll be enough storage for the rest of today and then i have to edit some videos because i have a lot of videos that i filmed just sitting there and they need to be edited so that it reduces storage intake but it is currently now 10 to six last time i spoke to you guys i think it was like three o'clock no it was before i went to go bath it was <laughs> it was one o'clock in the morning uh so basically one o'clock in the morning i went and i showered and then i did my what is called assignment that the group assignment i finished and i sent it to the person who was doing the group thing and then what else did i do
I think that's when I started doing the... Oh, I took an hour break after that because I was tired. Um, and I ate during that hour break. And then I started shifting things to make space for my phone. So yeah, that's it. I just found out. Well, I didn't just found out. I knew that we were going to be writing physiology practical. But I wasn't sure when. So apparently writing tomorrow. So I have to study for it now. So that's what I'm planning to do until... I don't know how long it's going to take me because it says it's seven pages long. So as much as I can do, I guess. Uh, I'm going to try and do as much as I can do. I'm going to try as do it. Your English. I'm going to try and do as much as I can. Oh, it's just four pages. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. I'm going to do this and then like read through it. And then later on, I'm going to do POMI and do the lectures that we did today. And yeah, that's my plan well, for today. That is linked to a pen on the balance side of the, the tin, the drum. And so it allows us to see directly what's going on with the inhalation and exhalation. We call it tidal volume because it's almost ebbing and flowing and you can see it on. When I ask you to, not tap you on the shoulder to give you an indication, I want you to take the biggest possible breath in you can. So if you can do that now for me, please. Okay, and then blow that out. And stop and go back to normal breathing there, please. And what we've done there is we've looked at an inspiratory volume and it gives an idea of an inspiratory capacity and an inspiratory reserve. Now if you can do the same, but give me your maximum exhalation. Okay, and then go back to normal and then normal breathing what that one's now given us is your in and out maximum ventilation so it gives us the vital it's capacity now 11 o'clock and i finished studying for my physiology practical test tomorrow i am going to sleep now and i'll see you guys next time <laughs> um oh my gosh i'm so tired i can't even think i'll see you guys in the next clip when i show you my week two or day two of the um what block am i in again <laughs> ah! medical research blog oh my gosh medical research blog anyway good night everybody Mwah. Doctor, I think my group is experiencing some network problems, so I'll be starting until the next person can join. Yeah, um, okay. continue. Okay, um, so we had to do an uh, article critique on the predictors of burnout among HRV nurses in the Western Cape. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yes, uh, are you ready to speak? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, you can continue from title. I measure a lot of the then um, group um, group three. Hey everyone, it is editing Fundi here, and this is where my video ended because I had storage issues. I don't know what was going on with my phone for that period of time. I didn't have storage after like deleting so many things for like I think two or three weeks. I don't know why and then after like those few weeks it magically had storage again I me yeah, I don't know so I didn't end up filming the rest of that day because I didn't have storage it wouldn't allow me to film it said storage film but you guys didn't miss anything we had our presentations and then yeah the rest of the day I, I can't remember exactly because from now that I'm talking to you guys this was like end of July mid August end of July beginning of August there so 
I don't have a good memory. Med school is frying my brain. So I don't remember exactly what happened. But after that day, what I was doing, but I was probably studying for some physiology test because during that time we had like physiology practical tests almost every week. But yeah. And then the following week, the next week of medical research block, we had another presentation where we had to critique an article. The presentation that we were doing in the previous clip that you saw is that they gave us an article and we had to critique that article as a group and then present it to Sir, to Dr. Amin. So we had to do that again the following week and take whatever criticism he gave us the previous week and apply it there. And that week I actually had to present and it's so sad. I wish I could have recorded if I had space and then I don't know, you guys could have seen me present. But that one went well. He didn't have much critique to say. I remember that day. He didn't have much to say. He just had a few things. I think we had like a spelling issue and he was like as doctors or med students to be doctors we need to make sure that we don't even have spelling errors or grammar errors because what we write is like a final document or what, something like that so we need to always double check that everything that we write is correct um so yeah that and then what else did then the next week we had to write our test our our test went well um my test says it was late because we wrote it online but i literally submitted when it was about to close like i think it closed at 6 p.m it started at 5 p.m it ended at 6 p.m like on 6 p.m like it was 5 59 and said six and when it said six i submitted but it says late and till this day it did mark my work i checked when you check they did mark your work but it's just that on blackboard it's not reflecting it just says needs grading but it already graded it they just need to switch on something that will activate the grade so i recently just spoke to one of the class reps and hopefully he will sort that out for me also with the test when uh, there was problems the first test like when we had to write the test initially there were problems with the test because there weren't any articles we had to critique because in the test they gave you articles and you had to critique those articles and on the first time like the initial the initial date we had to write there were no articles there were i think two articles and then other questions were just questions so we had to write the test again and yeah then there were articles so but yeah it was a relatively okay block except for issues with net like mistakes during the test or something like that this light is hurting me but yeah it was a good block it wasn't a hectic block per se it was a lot of group work so we did our stuff properly i hope because as far as i'm concerned the final marks are not out yet poem department is very slow i'm rambling now anyway Thank you guys for watching please give this video a big thick thumbs up if you liked it make sure that you subscribed if you haven't subscribed and you turn on the post notification so that you don't miss any future videos from me and share this video with friends family or anyone who might find it interesting and i'll see you in my next video